you'll have to forgive me. This gives me no great pleasure. I have spent far too much time in this cemetery, burying little children. It is for this reason I will keep it brief. Little Rose McLeish, three years old, taken from us for reasons that God only knows. I do not. Lord, take this little child into your heart and watch over her as you will the rest of the children. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Mr. McLeish, I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. Little Rose was a sweet girl. If there's anything the church can do for you, please. I'm, I'm sorry. Mr. McLeish, you must get going now. Check on the baby and your wife. Come, child. Tom, I'm, I'm sorry about little Rosie. She was such a sweet girl. It's, it's a terrible thing, this diphtheria. Uh, this search is strong. She, she'll get over. Um, I, I see you found one of the last roses, Tom. It's, well, yeah, it, it's fitting, I guess. Uh, Tom, I, I, I wouldn't ask now, but, well, well, you're my older brother, and you said I should come to you if I ever needed anything, and well, I, I, I wouldn't ask now, but there's going to be trouble, Tom. I, I, I did something bad. What do you want, Tonis? Do you remember when I, when I brought you out here? You, you, you said you'd help me, no matter what, right? What is it, Tonis? There's going to be trouble, Tom. I, I, I did something bad. I, I, I'd give it back, but they, they already know. I, I, I can't just have it on me. The, the Bandy brothers... The, Tom, could you just take it and could you hide it for me, Tom? It, and then I wouldn't have it on me. And, and, and Tom, I'll split it with you. you. You want to help Myra get her sight back, Tom? This, this is the way. Honest, what, what are you talking about? They were just sitting there, Tom. Little bags of gold, uh, gold dust. I, nobody was around, Tom. I, I, I think they're in the outhouse, but... I went there to collect wages, like you said, and I just saw them there. There, twenty of them. I, I think. Could you, could you just imagine? Honus, what, what, what are you saying? But before I knew it, I, I grabbed one and I'm stuffing out the door. Tom, you, you got to help me. I, I, you, 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 you stole a bag of gold dust from from the, the bandies. Hey, I know oh it's God, bad. Honus. That, that, that's why I need your help. <laughs> they, they, they'll kill you. They, they'll kill us, Honus. Do you know what you've done? Do you, do you know what that's worth? Hey, I know it's bad. I, I shouldn't, but... Well, uh, Tom, you please, you got to help me. It's already done. I, I can't give it back, and... Well, I can't just get rid of it. Do you know what it mattered to the Bandy brothers? Leave me out of it. I, please, Tom. I don't want any part of it. Tom, please. I, I, I can't have them find me with it. I, I don't know what they know, but they, they'll figure it out. And, and when they do, they'll throw me down a mine shaft like they did to Bill Oliver. <laughs> He hit every timber on the way down, Tom. Don't is enough. You should have thought about that before you took their dust. Yeah, but well, there were loads of bags just sitting there, Tom. I, I didn't think they'd miss just one. Hey, anyway, it, it, it's like you said. They, they get all of it and they leave us with nothing, Tom. You said it yourself, it ain't right. Right or not, you, you stole a thousand dollars worth of gold dust. I, I think they'll want to find it. And, and, and what would you have me do, Honus? Just take it for a day or two and hide it from me, Tom. They won't think of you, not if I don't have it. Take, take it into the forest and hide it there, or, or throw it in the river. Oh no, the forest is a dark place, Tom. I, I can't get rid of it, and I, I don't want to lose it, Tom. Not when I'm so close. It, it could get us out of here, Tom, it, and it could help Myra. Please, help me like you promised. 
I don't want any part of it. Now clear off so I can mourn my daughter in peace. Home. Be off. argument with Uncle Honus, Papa. It was nothing, just, just mind business. Is Mama gonna die too? Like little Rose. Oh, no. No, baby. Nobody else is dying. I miss little Rosie, Papa. Me too. Find the last rose. Find the rose, Thomas. You have to find it. Listen to me. Please, <laughs> <down, laughs> do not get better. How many talk read? Talk al rosa. It says your circle talks nothing but roses. I give my the last rose in my garden. The rest are dead. The heart and mind are tired. In time, she gets better. Sasha, how is the baby? Sasha, are you deaf? The baby? I think your English needs work. You keep the baby away from mother? I think he is sad, Miss Petrova. The little Rosie. He is sad, little Michael. Child, come here. Look good, no? Feeling sad? It's a bitter thing to lose one so young. Lost a brother on the way over the ocean. They threw him in the water. I remember thinking how cold the water must be. What strange thoughts. They'd feel no cold. Sometimes I think it is better to go early. Then I think that we are alive. We must do what the living do. Eat. Eat with them. Sit, sit. Sasha. Get her soup and get her bread. You drink the devil, Mr. McLeish. Make you forget about your wife and children. Sasha will make you tea. Sasha, make tea for Mr. McLeish. Wait. Fire's going cold. Sasha, you let the fire go out? Get wood first, Sasha. I think it is time you go away from here, Mr. McLeish. Find the rose, Thomas. Please. I'm going to die, Miss Petrova. No. Don't think she has the diphtheria. Her mother's... She's sick in the heart, yeah? What about Michael and the rest of us? Oh, you sweet girl. Baby Michael looks strong. He not be thrown back. You are too sweet for a diphtheria and 
Sasha Inga and I, we'll be fine. We are Russian. Mr. McLeish, ah, what is it? Where is the tea, Mr. McLeish? This is no place for little ones. Sasha, where is the tea? Men, your gold and your money. Take the gold out of the ground and you throw in the babies. And when the babies turn out like Mr. Honest, you ask why. Why? I think your mother not love Mr. Honest. You take your family and go, Mr. McLeish. Now where is that tea? What is two wet? Go fetch other wood. Only dry wood, Sasha! We help you leave. Sasha, Inga, and I will. Where do I go, Miss Petrova? Look at my family. It's in the mountains, Thomas. The last rose. <coughs> How when Mrs. McLeish gets better, you take them and you leave. You go anywhere but here. You don't need gold, Mr. McLeish. You find some land, you plant some food, you make the love to your wife, and you make the babies. That is enough. What about you? You live here. Ah, my stupid husband brought us to this godforsaken place. And what does he do? He falls down the mine shaft and dies and leaves us here to starve. Stupid idiot. <sighs> Sasha, get more wood. Take the gold out of the ground and throw in the babies. There's no life here. Men, never have, what do you call it? Abundance. Gold is worthless, Mr. McLeish. You men lie and cheat and kill for a rock in the ground. Look at this. This is gold. This is abundance. The more you love it, the more it gives, the more it's worth. The more you neglect it, the more it fades. Like a memory loss through time, it becomes worthless. Like your brother, Mr. Honus. Take your family and leave, Mr. McLeish. Why did they throw in the babies? It is how you say expression, little one. You have poopy pants? No? Well, you take him out for air. They're still in here. You keep him warm, no? Yes, Miss Petrova. <coughs> Do not raise little girl in this. I thank God she has no eyes to see how pathetic you've become. They're coming for me, Tom. The, the, the bandies, they, they know I, I went to my cabin and, they, well, it was turned out. They, they, they didn't check under the floorboard, though. Tom, please, oh, you, you got to help me. Oh, what trouble you cause now, Mr. Honest? Please. Sasha, get the shovel. Please, Tom, they, they'll kill me when they find me. I, I, I give it back, but, well, you know, they kill me all the same. Please, Tom. Honest. Honest. You steal gold dust, Mr. Honest. You let him burn in his own fire, Mr. McLeish. Do not bring this trouble into your home. You get out, Honest, Honest McLeish! Honest, you have the last rose. <coughs> Tom, please. Please, I, you know I'm not bad. The rose, I, I, I just the rose Honest, I know where it is. I don't have no rose, sir, shut! Tom, to the gold. Oh, Honest brought tea. I found the tea, Miss Petrova. Uh, I can make tea. Where's little Rosie? Thomas. Where, where is she? Thank you, Mr. McLeish. We'll make wonderful tea. Let's get you back to bed. Some rest. Mr. Honest will be on his way. Inga. Tom, please. Uh, yeah, hold me like you promised. You, you gave me your word when we came out here, Tom. Please, you've always been a man of your word. 
Dr. McLeish, your wife is sick. I need a promise, Tom. What is it, a stupid man? Do not trust him. Tom, I didn't say I'd help you steal, Honus. Well, 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 what a welcome. Mr. Honus has already had tea made. Mr. McLeish, you must not have company now. Your, your wife is not Thank well. Thank you, Mrs. Petrova. I do not believe your services will be required anymore. Inga, Sasha, Sasha, you must be on our way. No, Mr. Honus, you must stay. We would not want to be deprived of the pleasure of your wonderful company, especially because you and Mr. McLeish are brothers, yeah? The McLeish brothers. You know who I am, but I will introduce myself all the same. I am Ben Bandy, and this is my brother, Basil Bandy, and a couple of our associates, Hansel and Franzel. My, my wife is... That is most unfortunate. Why don't we have a seat at your table, Mr. McLeish, Mr. Honus? Sit, sit. She is quite beautiful, Mr. McLeish. It would be a shame if she had the diphtheria. Basil and I both survived the diphtheria as little boys in Switzerland. Alas, our poor mother did not. They say when you die from the diphtheria, it's as if your lungs slowly stop breathing. It's like drowning slowly. And I'm told it is not pleasant to watch. But alas, you know this, Mr. McLeish. You two have witnessed this recently. My apologies. Now that pleasantries are out of the way. <sighs> to business. I don't really like tea, Mr. Honus. Mr. McLeish, I understand that you have recently come into employment with my mine. And how has the mine treated you, Mr. McLeish? Well, that is good, Mr. McLeish, that is good, because you would never steal from anyone that treated you well, would you, Mr. McLeish? And you certainly wouldn't help anyone steal from anyone that treated you well, would you, Mr. McLeish? And you certainly wouldn't lie to anyone that treated you well, would you, Mr. McLeish? I'm, so, I'm sorry, Mr. McLeish, you're going to need to speak up. My father would hit me in this year, always this year. Basil, which year did he hit of yours? Always the same year. Well, maybe he was right-handed. <laughs> no, no I, I wouldn't help but he would steal your gold, Mr. Bandy. Hearing is not so good in my right ear either. One could say I'm almost deaf. They say Beethoven was deaf, but alas, he, he was German. I fell through the ice when I was a little boy in Switzerland. Have you ever fallen through the ice, Mr. McLeish? No, it is cold, I can tell you, froze my eardrum in my right ear. With all the hitting and the freezing, can't sing either. Thank God Basil has a beautiful voice, great yodeler Basil. Basil, will you yodel for us? No? Maybe later. But we are great yodelers, the Swiss, yeah. We invented yodel. The Germans try and steal it from us like the Lederhosen. We invented Lederhosen. I think they still Beethoven too. How could he be German? Franzel still has a pair of his great grandfather's Lederhosen, don't you, Franzel? Now, where was I? Oh, yes, you were going to tell me any news about stealing. You have heard the news, have you not, Mr. McLeish? 
heard the news. Oh, he has not heard the news. Basil, he has not heard the news. Well, the news is, Mr. McLeish, that somebody stole my gold. And that somebody is in this house. I didn't hear any news. You see, Mr. McLeish, you lied to me just now. <laughs> and if there is one thing I cannot abide, it is being lied to, Mr. McLeish. Take them to the mine shaft. No, no, no please, Mr. Randy, we didn't let you go. No, please, no, please, no, please. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. It's cold out there, Miss Petrova, and little Michael is. everyone. Mama, you feel all right? Do you have the last rose? I gave the last rose to Rosie, Mama. No, no. There, there's another. I, I need you to take Michael and this teapot and find the last rose of summer. Why, Mama? What are you talking about? Bad men are coming here. You have to go and find the last rose of summer. What bad men? Mama, I don't know what you're talking about. You're scaring me, Mama. What rose? Miss Petrova says they're all dead. No, no, no. There's another. There must be. Look on the other side of the mountain. Elias Meadows. Stay away from the mine shafts. Take the tea kettle. Why must I take the tea kettle? It's heavy, Mama. Oh, bad men are coming here to do terrible things. If they want this tea kettle, they cannot have it. If they have taken your father, they will return for you and your brother. Do, you, do what I say. Do you, do you trust me? Find the rose where it will save us. Do you trust me? Good girl. No, go. I, I love you, both of you. When you find the rose, bring it to me quickly. Yes, Mama, but how will I find it? Trust yourself, Myra. Now go.
Mr. Benny. Oh, wait, there is. We don't have no, no Mr. Benny. <laughs> no. You know, no. Mr. McLeish, the winters in Switzerland, they are cold. But not as cold as they are here. I don't like cold, Mr. McLeish. But I like gold. I go to the mine office this morning and I hear a rumor. A rumor that somebody stole my gold. And I say, where is this gold? And nobody knows. They say, we hear rumor only. Do you know what rumor they hear, Mr. McLeish? They say that a small, little man took my gold. And I say, that is impossible. What crazy little man would take my gold? Who would be crazy enough, Mr. McLeish? Maybe after we throw you two down the mine shaft, we go ask your beautiful wife. Hold on a second, thought. Don't, we won't ask the wife. She is not long for this world. Basil, do you think we should ask the pretty blind daughter where the Wait! Is? Wait, wait, he says. So we've heard the rumor then, Mr. McLeish. I'll show you where the gold is, Mr. Benny. Don't, don't hurt my family. I, I took it. I'm sorry. You, you can throw me down the mine shaft. I, I'll show you. I, I promise. You promise. You promise. What is a promise? There is one thing that makes or breaks the promise of a man. Gold. No, you lie to me, Mr. McLeish, and I told you, I know a lie when I hear one. He don't know, Mr. Benny. I, I, I do. I, I took your gold. You, you can throw me down, not them. We will, Mr. Onus, we will. But first, you need to tell me where the gold is. <laughs> in the teapot in the cabin. I, I, I put it in the teapot. Honest, Mr. Bandy. Ah, the teapot. Franzel, didn't you check the teapot? You, honest, and you promise. What useless words. Maybe those should be your names, yeah? Mr. Promise and Mr. Honest. How do I know you're being honest, Mr. Onus? The teapot. Let's go have tea, shall we? And then we'll talk about the rest of the McLeishes and the mine shaft. But can't you throw them in now? I want to throw them in. Hansel, Franzel, you stupid idiots. I tell you one million times, we cannot throw them in yet. We need to find the gold person and throw the rest of our family down the mine shaft. And, and besides, look, look at this mine shaft. It is not deep. They would only be crippled. And then we would have to deal with their, their whining and crying. And if there's one thing I cannot abide, it is whining and crying. Franzel? Franzel? Where did they go? Maybe they fell down the mine shaft. Uh, I did not see them. You two are idiots. Go find them. Basil, I tell you one million times, find me good help. One million times, Basil. Maybe all that yodeling is warping your mind. We have to go back. Wait, wait, no, are, are you crazy, brother? They'll kill us. They'll kill my family. They'll kill my family be, because of you. I, I didn't mean to bring harm to you and your family. But you did. Your whole life, you brought me harm. You convinced me to come to this, this godforsaken land. And now you've brought destruction on my wife and children. Home. You only think about yourself, Honus. I, I was just doing it for us and, and no, for Myra. No, I've had enough. You, your whole life has been about you. You only think about yourself. You never stop to think about the harm you do to yourself and others. Oh, oh, no, Honus. I'm done with you. What have I done? Why did I let you bring this madness on my family? It, it, it's gonna be okay, Tom. 
how would it be okay? I failed my wife and child. Oh, Rosie, I did this to you. I'm sorry, sweet girl. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me. You're scaring me, Tom. I'm done with you, Jonas. No. You're no longer my brother. No, 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 you don't mean it. You're dead to me. Oh, no, Tom. Tom, please. Dead. 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 Tom. I found them. What? What happened? Why are they dead? Didn't I tell you I wanted them alive until I found them and threw this their family down the mine shaft and found the gold? How many times have I told you, Franzel? One million times. One million times. I think they're alive, only sleeping. Maybe they hit their heads. Well, they hit your heads, yeah, Basil. Why are they unconscious? I don't know. Maybe they fell down the mine shaft. Maybe you were born with hamster brain. Maybe they were tired and took a nap. Maybe they ate too much for dinner, like on Thanksgiving. Maybe I need to throw you all down the mine shaft to see how deep it is. No, something strange has happened here. Maybe the great cave troll came out the mine shaft and takes them and eats them. Maybe the great cave troll took their heads and dips them in chocolate. Maybe the great cave troll came and dips their heads in baker grease. Oh. <laughs> Idiot, I think that was my idiot. Basil, you are not in good health at this time. Stress. Just for a moment, though. Mama said we must hurry. I'm scared too, Michael. Sometimes I wish I could see, but I don't mind not seeing. All the senses. I think it is the one I'm glad to lose. But I cannot smell. I cannot smell the roses in the summer. I'm sure they're beautiful to look at, but their smell is divine. If 
I cannot taste. I cannot eat Mama's wonderful Colcan and mash, kale, cabbage, potatoes. Heavenly and sound. How could I live without Mother's humming and Dad singing? Music, Michael, Beethoven, or, or Mozart. Oh, I've only heard them twice, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Miss Petrova says they're German, but she forgives them. I, I guess they would forgive Miss Petrova, too. I do not care. They're like magic. How could anything look as beautiful as they sound? And to lose my sense of touch unthinkable, and I would not be able to feel your soft hands or, or your puffy cheeks. I don't know if I'll be able to sign this rest, last rose without seeing it, though. It's cold, Michael. You know it's always coldest before dawn. I'm getting tired. Let's just rest just for a moment, though. there. I can hear you and smell you. Who are you? Who are you? What, what are you? I, I can see. Look at, look at all the colors. Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael. Look at you. You're just like I imagined. Oh, look at him. Who are you? What are you? Why do you have wings? People don't have wings, do they, Michael? Say something. How did you do that? How'd you make me see? Why don't you speak? Can't you speak? Maybe she can't speak. Oh, maybe she speaks, Michael, and, and I've lost my hearing. Oh, that would be bad. I haven't lost my hearing. That's good. I, I want to hear Beethoven again. I, I can see. Look at the trees. Look, look at all the, the colors. I, I didn't realize there were so many. I thought trees were green. This must be green. This isn't green. And what color are you? I, I like your color. Why don't you speak? Are you a fairy? Are all fairies your color? I guess it don't matter what color someone is, is as long as they're nice. You seem really nice. Why do I feel like this isn't a real place? This isn't our world, is it? What place is it then? Your world. Oh, it, it feels strange here, like, like I have no memory. I remember Michael, but I, I can't. Why can't I remember? I think I remember my, my mama said I, I had to go to the highest meadow on, on the highest mountain. She said I had, I had to take that tea kettle, but, but I don't know why. So I, I think I will have to go find this rose and, and bring it back. Why can't I remember? Why can't I remember anything? Can you help me? I 
thinks it's, it's a pretty flower. I, oh yes, I remember I, I was looking for the last rose of summer. I don't know why it was important though. Wait, I'm pretty sure this isn't a rose. I'm afraid none of these are roses. I greatly appreciate your help, though. <laughs> you gave me sight and all. Remember, like I said, I, my mother said I had to go to the highest meadow on the highest mountain to take that tea kettle. I have to go find the rose. I think all the roses are dead. Maybe they're still alive in your world. Maybe you can help us find the highest meadow. But I must. I don't know why, but I think my life depends on it. I do want to show us the way. Michael, this is so amazing. I can see you in my dreams, though I can't see you near me. Never before have I seen your face. What have I been missing? What have I never known? Have these colors always been here as I hid in the dark? Guess what I've been missing? Being trapped in the dark. I guess we better follow her, Michael. I feel strange, though. I have my sight, but I feel like I lost something more than my memory. me you don't know who the wrong pitch is? Who is it? Tell me! Brother, Hansel, do you, Basil, do you see what you have to work with here? Maybe they are not good singers. We must make them good singers, yeah? And fear is the best motivator. So, each of you will perform solo for me. And whoever's worst singer we throw into mine shop. Yeah, sound good? Let's begin. Hockenschmidt, you will go first. Sing, Hockenschmidt, sing! <laughs> 
You are terrible. Can we show them in now? Not yet, Uncle. We may have to throw them all in. Elias, sing. I think your leader hosen may be a bit tight. Hans, sing. Herm, sing. <laughs> Did you soil your leader hosen? Heinrich, sing! Heinrich, sing! No, Heinrich. No. Nathan, sing! How easy it is. Can we show them in now? Sadly, Hansel, a man needs his choir, even a bad one. And my coffer is not yet full, full of the purest, sweetest gold the world has ever seen. Sweet. Let me tell me find one more baby. Then I will be the richest. Why do we need the baby? Hansel, you poor, stupid, uneducated fool. Because I tell you one million times. Because gold comes with price. Throw in babies, take out gold. 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 Babies, take Enough, out gold. I am bored. I must be entertained now. Servant boy, fetch me refreshments. Franzel, have you finished training the new recruits? Yeah, but they're not good, sir. Bah! They are not worthy to wear the lederhosen. Only the strong, only the strong can wear the lederhosen. They are not fit to... This is good. Thank you, sir. I mixed it myself. Really? What kind of apples did you use? A variety of... That uh, is grand. nice. Stand over there and wait for me to tell you what to do. Well, well, well. Look at the new recruits. Where did you find them, Basil? They were in one of the new mine shops. Stealing! I think they fell in. They look pretty dazed and they can't remember their own names. Like they hit their head lots on the way down. Little weasels in a hole. They look like little weasels. There are many kinds of weasels, you know. The question is, what kind are these? Are they little weasels or big uh -huh. weasels? What strange weasels. 
you know who is a member of the weasel family? It is one of the deadliest animals in the world. It is a wolverine! Ah! Yeah, you know, they will eat anything and everything. They even eat the bones and the teeth of their prey. And when they eat, they eat so voraciously. It's as if they will never eat again. Except they do. It is a sight, I tell you. You have seen. Their only weakness is their eyesight. But they can smell and hear you very well. It's said they will dig into your hibernating den. And eat you! No, I think these are another member of the weasel family. Their stench has given them away. I think they are stinky little skunks who would try to steal my gold. No, 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 Mr. Please call me Brother Ben. And this is Brother Basil. We are all brothers here. Except for you. You are not a brother. We're, we're, we're brothers? Um, him and me, I mean... Uh, I mean, we, we kind of look like brothers, don't we? I'll stop talking now. What are your names? Um, to, be, to be honest, sir, we, we don't remember our names. Uh, like, like he said, uh, honest. We promise, sir. We, we didn't mean no harm. We promise. Honest and promise. What strange names. We don't remember our names, sir. Are you honest? No. I, I mean, yes. I, I am very honest. So, so honest, sir. I don't believe you. Can you keep a promise? He, he's a man of his word, sir. Well, then, let's see if you show any promise. Why do you want to join my brotherhood? We, I, we weren't looking to join your brotherhood. We, we, we were just passing by. We... Ah, nonsense. Nobody is just passing by. Either you're here to join my brotherhood or your thieves. We need to be joining the other thieves in the mine shaft. No! 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 You have a family, a wife, and children? How old are the children? I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? How old are they? A girl or a boy? I, I don't know. About this. How old are they? I don't know. What do they look like? Are they big like a sack flower or little like a cat? I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't. What do you mean you don't know? What kind of father doesn't know the difference between a sack of flour and a cantaloupe? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can't remember. Why, Honest, why, why can't I remember? I, I can't remember either, brother. You don't remember. <laughs> They hit their heads lots on the way down. Every timber. What good is honesty from a man with no memory? How do you know you are telling the truth? M M Mr. Brother Ben, sir, can I ask what you need a baby for? No, you cannot. Throw them down the mine shaft! Tell you what. Instead of throwing you, instead of throwing you into the mine shaft like I should, and since Franz went into the trouble of teaching you the initiation dance, I will give you the opportunity to try out for my brotherhood. If you succeed, then we talk about what you do for me. Yeah, sound good. If if you fail, then Hansel and Franz will get to throw you down the mine shaft. None of this pathetic groveling. It gives me indigestion. Hey, uh, hey, Mr. Brother Ben, sir, how do we pass the initiation? Oh, Franzel did not tell you. You must defeat Franzel in the slap dance arena. Yeah! Ah, brother Hansel, winner of slap of blues at 25 years in a row. Hey, Mr. Ben, sir, we, but we, we learned the dance, but I, I hardly. Oh, say don't worry. I treat you fairly, honest. I promise. Now the rules, they are simple. Whoever remains standing by the end of the dance wins. Start the music.
Wins again. Has he sold him now? Throw the little weasels down. <laughs> wait, wait, what did you say? I know where to get today. What where? Do you remember, Mr. Thomas? Children speak positive. Uh in in the woods. Yeah, uh there's a baby in the woods. Oh no, no. Shut up, baby. Um yeah, the quarry fell down near the mine shaft. We, we found a baby in the woods. There in the woods. I, I, I'll only tell you if you agree to let us go. <laughs> 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 I'll let you go. Into my mine shaft. <laughs> no, wait. Mr. Bandy, we'll, we'll go look for you. We'll get, we'll get the baby and bring it back to you. We'll put you on his skins. Let us go, sir. We'll, we'll, we'll find the baby and bring it to you. I promise, Mr. Bandy. Mr. Promise. How do you know you are telling the truth? You can't remember. Remember? I want to believe you, but I'm a businessman who does not have the luxury of beliefs. I tell you what. Mr. Promise, you will stay. Mr. Honest, you will go and find my baby. Then my coffer will be full. Agreed? Uh, agreed. Yes! Ah! Take out the gold, throw in the babies, man. Promise, ah! I'll come I'm back so for you, mate. So oh, honest, what, what baby? There, there's no baby in the forest. What, what are you talking about? Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to buy you some time. Nope. Uh, I'll come back for you, brother. I, I promise. I, I won't leave you here. Oh, but you gotta go out there in the forest. There's no way. Now, Mr. Promise, I am not sending you because I believe in you. No. Baby hunting requires a dishonest man, and I believe you have all the right capabilities. Get him the baby hunting attire and the baby hunting vehicle, or the BHV. I just fast to get you there and back in no time. You like? Very sleek, very fast. Uh, Mr. Baxter, <laughs> I'm not sure if I can ride that. Nonsense, a little weasel like you was built for the BHV. Well, I'll, I'll try, I guess. One thing, don't break the horn, or the whole thing will go to hell. Yeah, 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 yes. Very good, very good. Find my baby, Mr. Honest, or Mr. Promise will find out what the bottom of this mine shaft looks like. I hear it's pretty. Lots of red. Mr. Bandy, can, can I ask what you need a baby for? Now, Mr. Promise, I like you. You seem to be the kind of man I can use. You cannot dance well, but you do seem to be honest, a rare quality. Much more honest than your uh, brother. Do you see? No? Oh, well, honesty will suffice. Do you want to remember your family so you can find them? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, what if I told you I'd help you remember your family? It's a little side business I have, small but lucrative. All it takes is a promise, your promise, Mr. Promise. Can you do that? Good, that's what I thought. Now that I have your promise, let's talk business. You and I both know that Mr. Honest will screw this up. How badly is to be determined? Oh, I think he will find a baby. Even an idiot could find a baby. What I'm concerned with is getting him to do the second part, which is the sticking point, as they say. What's the second part? That's a little unpleasant. I, you see, Mr. Promise, if you really want to own something, you have to sell a little bit of your soul for it. I found that after owning almost everything, I don't have much soul left. So, I've needed to borrow a few souls, you might say, to fill my coffer. How does finding a baby fill your coffer? Come, come. Mr. Promise, you see this mine shaft here? It is not just for killing men who make me mad. No, it is a magic mine. The gold in it is the purest, sweetest gold in all the world. Sweet. But you cannot mine this gold. No matter how hard you dig, it will not come out. You must give it something. What do you give it? Yeah, it took me a long time to figure it out too, but in the end, it is the same as everything else. Like all great wealth, it must be bought with the lives of little children. You must give the mine babies, Mr. Promise. 
You can throw babies into the mine shaft? No, no, no. Well, it's complicated. You see, we were babysitting my cousin's little niece, Hildegard. Hansel has his nanny license, so we were a natural choice. Well, one thing led to another, and Hansel let Franzel hold the baby. And Franzel dropped little Hildy down the mine shaft. Yes, it was unfortunate, but the good news is the baby didn't go splat at the bottom. There was no baby, only a bag of gold. Isn't that wonderful, Mr. Promise? The baby disappeared, and we learned how to get gold from the mine. So, so you filled your coffer by, by throwing babies into your mine shaft? Yes, but no, no babies were harmed in the filling of this coffer. It, as far as we know, Mr. Promise, my coffer is almost full. I was worried because after Franzel ruined our reputation in the nanny business, babies were harder to come by. You kill little babies. Whoa, who said kill? You throw them into the mine shaft and they disappear. Yes, I do. But who knows what happens to them? Hansel thinks a leprechaun grabs them and takes them to the end of a rainbow. But who cares? A leprechaun. People throw their children away all the time for gold. What is the difference here? Now that I have your promise, there's something we must discuss. I'm worried about Mr. Honest. He's a weak man, spineless. Throwing a baby into a mine shaft requires a spine and a promise. Your promise, Mr. Promise. But why can't you or one of your men? There's a certain amount of guilt that goes with throwing a baby into a mine shaft, even if you get a bag of gold. <laughs> so I want you to do it. You gave me your word, did you not? Oh, but I didn't know. No. Mr. Promise, you may not remember this, but when you came to my mine shaft looking for gold, you sold your children's souls just the same. What do children want of gold? No. You will do it, Mr. Promise. Or I will throw you and Mr. Honest out of myself so deep, you will forget yourself before you at the bottom. And then I will find your family, whether you remember them or not, and I will throw them down too. I assure you my copper will be full with or without you. So I'm going to need you to reiterate your promise to me. When Mr. Honest returns, you will throw the baby down the mine shaft, get me a bag of gold, and then I will help you remember your family. <laughs> when Mr. Honest returns, you will throw the baby down the mine shaft, and then I will help you remember your family. I'm sorry, Mr. Promise, I can't hear so well. You're going to need to speak up and say, I promise. I, I promise. Yeah! Very good. Servant boy, squeeze the apples. Squeeze the apple. Hunting vehicle more like breaking the hearts viciously. Yeah! God, stupid thing, why won't you work? <sighs> he looks like he needs help. Fairy, we are clearly lost. We need help. If we help him, maybe he'll help us. Can we help you, mister? Oh, by me. Yeah, you should sneak up on a fellow like that, though. You really scared me there, little girl. What in blazes are you? She's a fairy, and I'm... You got a baby. Oh, relax. I, I am only looking. 
Excuse me, sir. What, what is that? Oh, this, uh, well, this is the BHV. What does the BHV stand for? Um, big, honest vehicular thingy. What does it do? Right, uh, the question isn't what does it do, little lady. The question is what doesn't it do, am I right? What doesn't it do? Right, well, it, it doesn't really do anything right now. Uh, a engine troubles, you know? Say, what are you uh, say, I don't think we've been properly introduced now. I, I'm Mr. Honest, and I stress the honest part. Hi, Myra. Myra stress on the Myra. And this is my baby brother, Michael, stress on the baby. And as I mentioned, this is fairy. But she probably shouldn't stress the fairy part with her. Well, that's a ripe young lad there. Right, right cute, ain't he? Enjoy him while they're like that. Lads, they, they always turn. At least that's what my mother said anyways. Now, what are you three doing out here anyways? Uh, they, these hills, they ain't safe for little girls. <laughs> you, you, and by the looks of your escort, you could really use some security upgrades. So what you three doing out here anyway? We're, we're looking for the last rose of summer. The last what of uh, what? The last ro the ro last rose of summer. La last rose, huh? So, uh, what do you need a tea kettle for? I don't really know what the kettle's for. Well, uh, I ain't seen no last uh, last rose, and I think they're all dead. Uh, and I'm fresh out of tea, little girl. Sorry. But my mother said it was. It was in the highest meadow on the highest mountain. Meadow? No, no, not a lot of meadows out here in the mountains. They're, well, they're pretty rocky, you know. But my mother said it was. And you know, I, on second thought, I, I might actually know of a spot. I, I'll tell you what, since I got some time on my hands and you could use the extra security, I'll escort you to the rose. Heck, I'll even carry little Michael for you. I, I don't think your little fly likes me very much. To be honest, uh, I'm quite offended. Be careful, little fly. If you aren't, I might choose you for some fly fishing. Yes, fairy, I, I realize he isn't a very good escort. But we've been wandering around for hours without any luck. He might be able to help us. Yes, fairy, I know. He might be able to help us. We need help. We don't. We don't know what lies between us and this here rose. All right, Mr. Honest. We'll let you escort us. Slobber Bob! All right, right this way, ladies. Let me just get this thing started, all right? Um. Rum -rum Come on! Well, fairy, come on. Mum, 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 mum,
Mr. Honest! Mr. Honest, wait! Mr. Honest, we, we cannot keep up with you at this pace. I insist you slow down and... Stop making that wretched sound! Sorry, little lady, I'm real fast. I, I just get going and forget I'm an escort, you know? Yes, Fairy, I, I realize he isn't a very good escort. And where are we? I don't think I like this part of the forest. It's cold and dark here. Mr. Honest, are you, are you sure we're going in the right direction? Well, well uh, sure, why, it's, uh, yeah, it's it, it just, it's, it's just right over here. Now listen here, fairy, I know where I'm going, I just need to get my parents, all right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Bob, what, what was that? What was that, fairy? <laughs> What, what, what are those things? What, what do we do, fairy? Why are you here? Don't, don't move. Maybe they can see us if we don't move. Why, Why are you here? What, what do you want? Don't move. I don't think that's working, Mr. Honest. Who are you? Maybe, maybe if we ignore them, they'll leave us alone. I'm Myra. And this is Honest and Fairy and little Michael. May I ask who you are? No, you may not. What, what do you have, have Matt Kettle? kettle? Kind of rude and demanding now, aren't they? I don't know what's in the kettle. Yeah, yeah, get your own kettle. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, that, that, now that's mine. Why are you here? here? I think it's okay, Honest. Yeah, Do you know where I might find the last rose of summer? You think the last, last rose? Got the rose, but why you may. Got the rose, but why you may. These ladies aren't much for small talk now, are they? Why do you seek the last, last rose? My mother, I, I'm not quite sure why. The last this rose is a lonely, lonely thing, thing. Isolated, isolated, alone. And now, what do you three know about being alone? Okay, can't you speak for yourselves, for blimey's sake? I, I think we're in danger, and, and well, the last rose could save us. And the kettle is... I, I don't know what the kettle's for. It's, it's full of sand. It's quite heavy and I'm tired of carrying it. Hey, I don't want to leave it because it might be important. Well, yeah, I, I could carry it. It's all right, Fairy. I can carry the kettle. Little Michael's also getting heavy. But well, I could carry him. It's quite all right, Fairy. I can manage Michael too. He weighs more than the kettle, I think. We will carry the kettle and the baby and show you to the rose. And then I'll hold on. Little girl, you aren't seriously listening to these witches here. Little girl, you cannot trust these here ladies. I mean, the first rule of putting together a good resume is to dress the part. And I mean, look at them. They don't exactly scream nanny now, do they? Could you stop that? <sighs> they, they keep speaking at the same time. It's, oh, they're creeping me out. The last rose is this way. You must hurry. It will die soon. Thank you very much, ladies, but I'll be showing them to the rose. Uh, now, now, hold on. You, you ladies aren't seriously thinking about their proposal now, are you? We'll let you show us the rose. Honest can carry the kettle. But I'll manage Michael, thank you. Now, now hold on, little girl. I, I can't let you do that. I, I sworn to protect you. You haven't sworn anything. You swore to escort us, and, and a poor lot you've been. Yeah, yes, I've sworn to escort you, and well, protected it falls under escort. And, and my first job is to protect you from these here witches. Oh, blimey, they're, they're freaking me out. They ain't right or natural, you know. They, they can't, you can't see them, and, well, they can't see it. And, and they're useless without seeing. They're coming, Honest. I, I bet they see more in a moment than you'll see in a lifetime. With your beady little eyes. Take those goggles off. You're creeping me out. Unless I'm mistaken. You wet your pants protecting us. I did not. Now everybody ready. Let's be off, shall we? Gather the rosebuds while you may. Gather your rosebuds while you may. Totally dry. Unwise decision, little girl. Don't say I didn't warn you against it. Stupid kettle. Oh, he's carrying the least important thing. <laughs>
I told you those witches ate slow us down. Look at them back there. Slow us molasses. Don't think they're witches, honest. Harry, what is that? It's the last rose. Slobber Bob, I want you to look at that. Who'd have guessed it, eh? I told you I'd find it for you. What do we do, Fairy? We pick it. Um, well, watch out for thorns, little girl. Uh, maybe we should wait for those witches. They were pretty thorny anyway. So beautiful. I don't think I can pick it. Well, it's going to die anyway. Honest. I don't think I like your honesty. Oh, where did they go? They might know what to do. I don't know, but I, I think something's coming. Last rose, just like you are. How am I the last rose? 
Like the last rose, you live alone. But I'm not alone. I have my mama and papa and Michael and Perry. You see things others cannot. That is your loneliness. You live for things they only dream of. I wish that were true, but right now I feel as lost as ever. I finally found the rose, and now that I found it, I don't think I can pick it. You must. It lingers here to give life to others. Oh, I don't think I can pick it. Why do people always take things? We always take things. We take and we take, and then one day there, there's nothing. Gather your rosebuds while you may. Gather your rosebuds while you may. Thank you. What do I call you? She is the lady of the rose. Thank you, rose lady. What are you saying, fairy? Honest? Honest? Where's honest? Honest? Michael? Oh, where did they go? Why, why would he do this? Where did they go? He has for the, the mine. Take, take out, out the gold, throw in the babies. What, what do you mean? Take out the gold, throw in the babies. I, I, I don't understand, fairy. They steal babies for gold. That is how it is. Take, take out the gold, throw in the babies. Rocks are for flesh. Can, can you show me how to get there, please? I, I, need to, I need to find my brother. It is a dangerous place. Rocks for flesh. They will not give up your brother. Who are they? Why do they want to take my brother? Why would Honest give them, give them little Michael? Bad Honest, they will bring you battle. Take, Take out the gold, throw in the babies. That is how it is. Rocks for flesh. Rocks for flesh. I must stop him. Will you show me how to get there? It is that way. Come on, Barry. We, we have to find them. Come any closer. I'll throw him off. You're gonna throw sweet little baby into a mine shaft. Hey. Oh, oh sweet girl, I I'm sorry. I, I, I never meant to cause any harm, but you, you see, my, my brother and I we, we got into trouble with these brothers and well they said they needed a baby. I I didn't know where to get one, but I, I told them I did, and well well then I found you and it was like ordained or something, and I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I, I knew I had to save my brother, and, and... Why, Honest? Oh, I, I don't know why. Um, my brother, I'm not sure. I, one, one day I was good, and well, I, I only wanted to make a life for myself, but... Well, now I don't even remember the life that I wanted. I, I, I fell down one of these mine shafts and I, I hit my head and I, I can't remember a thing. All I know is that, that I had to help my brother and, well, Brother Ben, he, he said he'd help us. Brother I, Ben is bad. Be true to yourself and you will remember. Honest, not honest. Greed begot greed. What does that mean? I have my brother. You should be ashamed of yourself. Why do these brothers want little Michael? Um, I, I'm not really sure. He, he said he wanted to fill up his coffer and with a baby. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure, I guess. But he didn't explain the whole process to me and all. What's a coffer? Well, I, I, I guess it's more of this little coffin, I suppose. Uh, filled with the, the purest... Sweetest gold the world's ever seen. 
we're going to give Michael over for gold. I, I know I'm bad, I, but I, I didn't mean any harm by it. I, I'm sorry, little girl. You don't think I like it here? This place is full of despair. She's right, Missy. I, I, I never should have brought you here. I, I'm sorry. The brothers, they will take little Michael, throw him into the mine, and trade him for gold. What? No, no, I, I didn't know nothing about that now, honest. Take, take out, out the, the gold, gold, throw in the babies. babies. What do we do, fairy? You, you should leave. I'll take care of these brothers. I, I'd rather you were safe, far away from here. I'm angry at you, Mr. Honest, but I don't want anything bad to happen to you or your brother. There must be another way. Rose Lady, you must leave before they find you. Take out the gold, throw, throw on the babies. babies. She's right. You better get going, little girl. I, 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 would, I couldn't stand myself if you got hurt. It's all right, Honest. You're a sweet girl. I don't know why, but I, I feel like I'm starting to remember who I'm supposed to be. Find yourself and find your memories. Thanks, Rosebush Lady, but you don't happen to know about how I go about doing that now, do you? Be honest. Well, I, I guess you figured out by now that I'm not really an escort. <laughs> I guess I'm just lost. I, I've sort of been lost my, my whole life. Searching for something that'd make me happy. I, I thought gold would make me happy, but... It's all right, Honest. You're a sweet girl. I don't know why, but I feel like I've known you your whole life. I think I know what you mean. Go, 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 go. Those are the brothers. Go, go, go. Come on, we, we gotta hide. Where did they go? They weren't so bad. They were awfully good dancers. Oh, they're awful, all right. Yeah, you best be getting while the getting's good, little girl. I don't think we should leave Honest when he needs us. Why do you and, and everyone think gold will make him happy? Take, Take out, out the, the gold, gold throw in the babies. What does that mean? <laughs> Ground. 
flying all around without a sound. Dying at the moment of their birth. Ooh. Do you wonder where they went, flying back from where they're sent? Do you wonder what was spent, what was written, what was meant? Take out the gold, throw in the babies, take out the gold. Throw in the babies, take out the gold. Throw in the babies, take out the gold. Throw in the babies. Wandering by. Wandering by. Watching the light. Take the baby. You will not take my brother. You want to play games? We like games too, yeah? No, no Mr. Ross. You must stay. We would not want you to miss the festivities either. I, I, I think I left my pie in the oven. Let it burn, Mr. Ross. Just the way I like it, actually. Why do you want to take my brother? I need to fill my car. If I don't fill my coffer, then I can't have the things that make me feel better about being better than you, you see? I don't see. I'm going to sacrifice your baby brother to my magic mind shop to get me a bag of the purest, sweetest gold the world has ever seen. All right. I just want to go home to my mama and papa. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Mama and papa, you amuse me, little girl. Doesn't she amuse you, Basil? Look. He is amused. I tell you what, little girl, because you amuse me, and, and I do like amusement, I will give you this exclusive offer. A Yodo battle. Yodo battle. Yodo battle, yeah. Yodo battle, yeah. 
I don't think I know what a yodel battle is. That is too bad for you. Basil! 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 Ah, this is my brother Basil. Yodel champion of the Alps. I'm here to win yodel battle. Yes, good, Basil, good. Who is your champion, little girl? I don't think we can yodel. <laughs> oh. What are you doing, fairy? You can't yodel. You can't even speak. Wait, wait. I'll do it. I'll take your challenge, Mr. Ben. I'll yodel. <laughs> oh, Mr. Honest. You amaze me. You yodel, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I remember now. Brother, so don't you remember? We, we are brothers. Come on. Find yourself it and find your memories. You see, Mr. Bandy, her mother, she was German. She didn't speak much, but oh, she sure could yodel. You are German, Mr. Ones? German Irish. Hmm, that's good. You lie. Is this true, Mr. Promise? Never mind, it changes nothing. Remember our deal. Huddle up, men. Mr. Honest, are you sure you can win this yodel battle? Uh, I I'm not sure, but I, I need to try. Uh, after all I've done to you, I, I need to make it up to you in some small measure. I already forgive you. Like my mother says, we all get to chase in the pot of gold. Finding the rainbow is the hard part. Never had to look for the pot of gold. You're a sweet girl. Now wish me luck. Luck. Now the rules, they are simple. Each contestant will get 45 seconds to yodel, and whoever is best yodel wins. If my champion should win, we get the baby. If your champion should win, you get to keep the baby. Yeah, sound good? It doesn't sound good. I get to keep Michael, and you let Honest and his brother go. You drive hard, Barbie, but this is the deal. Basil will go first, because he is grand yodel champion of Doofenshpitz. Highest mountain in Switzerland, where all the greatest yodelers are born. Basil! 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 <coughs> Yo! The Alps could not contain Basil. His voice must be shared with the world. Yeah, Mr. Honest. I believe it is your turn. That was most impressive, Mr. Basil. <laughs> However, Mr. Ben, I, uh, I seem to have forgotten to mention something. You see, our mother was the German Grand Yodel Champion and winner of the World Yodel Cup 12 years in a row. You ready, lads? Try to keep up. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four!
the greatest yodeler I've ever heard. Yeah! Oh my God, oh, yeah. Basil, he oh, he was amazing. Oh, Mr. Oh, Promise, your mother, oh, she must have been wonderful. Keep the girl, little baby. Basil, you did it on his I didn't believe you could do it. Oh, I can't say I blame you. I wasn't so sure myself, but I felt like I had to make it up to you, and I, I hope this can do that in some small measure. It does, it does. You saved Michael. Oh, oh the horror bulb. Miss Promise, I, I think I spoke too quickly. Let's talk, yeah? I think we leave the gold business and you yodel for world yodel tour. I will be your manager and Basil will open for you naturally. <laughs> Come, let's go and have more words. Say goodbye to your little friends. But there must be gold! There is gold everywhere. But the great yodeler. That is rare. <laughs> we will make millions. You men will be roadies! Yeah! But is a roadie! Instead of carrying gold, you will all carry accordions! Yeah! <laughs> Find them. Brother! Hey, get away or I'll throw him off! Brother, 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 whatever are you doing? Stay away! He, he said he, he'd find my family if we found him a baby, and, and there's the baby! I, I just want to find them! I should find them! Throw him in! Throw him in! Throw him in! Throw him in! Stop! Stop! Thank you. Thank you, little girl, Mr. Promise. There seems to be a misunderstanding. This isn't even the right mine anyway. It is not deep enough. Shut up! You, you said you'd help me find my family. I, I, oh, I just want to find them. I don't know what you're talking about. I will throw in a baby into a mine shaft to help you find your family. M Mr. Ben said if he, he'd find my family if I, if I, if I threw your A baby into the mine for him. Never said that, never did. Well, m maybe. The exact details aren't important. What's important, Mr. Promise, is yodeling. The deal is off. You are released. What about my family? You, you said if I, if I sacrifice a baby for you, you help me find them. I, I, I just want to remember. Why can't I remember? She's right, brother. It's working for me. I'm starting to remember stuff from when we were wee little lads, like yodelin. The rest will come. Just gotta try, brother. We'll find your family. But I have a family. I, I, I have to remember them. I think it's this place, Mr. Promise. I can't remember everything either. I just need to, I just know I need to go back to my family. They're usually where we left them. Your brother's here. Start there, there. Remember the rest. And as for Mr. Bandy, he may deserve a lot of things, but he doesn't deserve this. Don't do this, Mr. Promise. Thank you, little girl. And Mr. Promise, I want to offer my sincerest apologies, not just to you, but to everybody. Fifteen cent raise for everyone! No! Do I know you? I don't know, I... I hate to break up this, this touching moment, but the blood is rushing to my head and I'm starting to lose consciousness. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. It's okay, promise. We'll find your family. More chasing gold for us, brother. Yes, indeed. Let's celebrate, servant boy. Squeeze the apples, squeeze the apples. <laughs> yes, Mr. Promise, let's talk. Yeah, you yodel too, yeah? Let's go on World Yodel Tour. It is time. Wait, Mr. Bandy. What about all those babies? And your coffer? If you give the gold back, the babies will return. Throw in the gold, take back the babies. Is this true, Rose Lady? Only if he wants it. It's kind of creepy how she points without looking, eh? <laughs> I tell you what, I not only give back gold and take back the babies, but I start Yodel Charter School for underprivileged children. Take back babies, throw in gold! 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 
Now, Mr. Promise, at this time, I'm sure you'll do just as well as your brother, right? Well, ah, we'll see. We'll help you remember your family. You should have a fall down mine shafts. They are dangerous. It is risky. Oh, oh, hold on, Mr. Benda. Well, uh, I, I guess this is it. World tour and all. Um, anyways, uh, Barry, uh, would you watch out for her? Um, I'm, I'm sorry about all the fly jokes. I, I really like flies, you know, uh, fly fishermen. Anyways, uh, you're all right. Slobber Bob. Uh, Rose lady, uh, stay rosy. Uh, where witches, learn, learn to branch out a little bit. Speak for yourselves. Little Michael, uh, sorry for almost throwing you down a mine shaft. I didn't really mean nothing by it, but I'm sure you would have fetched the purest, sweetest gold ever. Only joking. Um, hey, sweet girl. Uh, I, I just want to thank you for, for well, helping me to see. I, I hope you find your family. Uh, goodbye. Thank you, Honest. Slobber Bob. Mr. Honest Yodeling waits for no man. Come, come. Little girl, you may want to think about yodel management. You've got a knack for spotting a good yodeler. I just want to get home to, to my mama and papa. Well, if you change your mind, look me up. Mr. Honest, the world awaits. Myra, you're the most honest person I've ever met. Thank you, Honest. Slobber Bob! Well, fairy, witches, rose lady. Oh, where did she go? She does not belong here. Like the rose, she fades away. But I didn't get to say goodbye. Which way did she go? We are ways, not too. ours. We are ways, not too. ours. How can I thank you for your help? Give the Give last, the last rose, rose to the one who needs it most. My mama? She does she not need it. it. She said I had to find the rose and bring it back to her. The last, the last rose is for the lonely. Only the lonely. Wait, I, I don't understand. The living must live. Gather the rose, that's why you may. Gather the rose, that's why you may. We have our rose, but it's like it's just you and me, fairy. I think it's sprinkling. It's sprinkling, Michael. I think he likes it. Where do we go from here? What is it, fairy? Why are you sad? Oh, don't cry, fairy. It's all right. What is it? Why are you leaving me? Don't you have to take my sight? It's all right, fairy. You know I don't need eyes to see. I'm going to miss you, fairy. I'll never forget you. Will you forget me? And we'll be with each other forever. I'll tell him every day about you and witches and fairy and honest. He was brave. You, you have to admit it. I think I saw you smiling at him at the Odo battle. I saw it. You like a honest. I knew it. Not a fairy, but, but a little love angel. Fairy, what, what is that? That curve thing. Rain. Rain cross. Rainbow. That's a rainbow. It's so beautiful. Like Beethoven. I love you, fairy. I'm gonna 
miss you. Don't make me blind so I can go home. I still feel funny. You are all idiots. Get off Basil. Hansel. Stupid. Where are we, brother? You are in hell, Mr. Honus. No. Quick, grab them before they can run away. Oh, no, no, please. You are running, Mr. Benny, please. But you should have ran, Mr. Honus. You should have ran far away from here. Now, we are going to find my gold, and you and your brother and the rest of his family are going to end up at the bottom of the mine shaft. Oh. Gentlemen, I am through playing games. Oh. No, no, please, no, please, no, Mr. Ben. No, no, no. please, no. <laughs> been real. I could see. I, I saw you. You were beautiful. Everything was beautiful. I wish I could see here. That land was like a fair chance to see all these wonders and amazing things how can I be the same you know what I've been missing and I know Colors have always been here as I stood in the dark. Please tell me why I must go back. Being trapped in the dark. Being trapped.
Sasha. I tell you to get wood this morning. Here we are getting the wood. Sasha, why you do nothing? I do all the work and you want walk. Myra, child, sweet girl, you were right. Baby Michael. Let me see him. Sasha, take him. He had a dream, but, but it wasn't a dream. You seldom are, child. Where did you get, where did you get the rose and why, why do you have the tea kettle? I, oh, Mama, Papa. Inga, Sasha, we must hurry. Take that, Mommy, you strong, you strong, you. Myra! Oh my God. Where is my tea kettle, Mr. Thomas? I yes. see no tea kettle. Basil, you see a tea kettle. You see, Mr. Thomas, Basil does not see a tea kettle either. Put his face to the stove on. No, Mr. No, no, please, no, it was here. The tea kettle, where, where is it? Myra has it! Sasha, Sasha, what do you mean? Where, where's my run, little Michael? Oh, Thomas, S what have I done? Sasha, where are they? You better find my tea kettle, or you all begin the dying process. Sasha, where are, where are the children? I sent them to find Rosie. Rosie's gone, sweetheart. There will be more dead, huh? Where is my gold, Mr. Honus? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. No, Thomas, I'm sorry. Please, let me go. It was here. And not I am through with them. Let us return to the mine shaft and throw them down. Oh, no, 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 please. Don't throw them no, down. Don't no, 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 Mr. Benny. They didn't help me at all. They, please. It is all the same, Mr. Honus. They helped you. No. They must pay the price for your greed. Oh, no, no, they, they didn't help me, Mr. Benny. Enough. Benedict. To the mine shaft. No. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm no. sorry, Sir. No. No. That's you, Mr. Bandy. You see more than you let on, little girl. I need no eyes to sense the darkness. Mr. Hansel has a rather strong odor. Myra, where, where's little Michael? He's fine, Mama. He's with Miss Petrova. I see you have my tea kettle. Is it yours? The contents within belong to me. You must have them for you and your men. I believe they're one, two, three, and four of you, correct? You are correct. Oh my, I'm 
I'm sorry, I, I made a mess. It's quite all right. Can I ask where you found the rose? If I told you, you, you would not believe me. How do you know it is a rose? Have you ever seen one? Have you ever seen it? Sister Brandy, I, I've seen for one day. I saw the sky, mountains, and, and bugs, and a rainbow, and a fairy. But you do not look at them. Do you know how I know th that you do not look? Because you don't talk about them. You only take from them. I knew this was a rose for the same reason I knew you were standing in front of me. It's the last rose of summer. Alone in a desperate world. Clinging to a hope that we can be better than, than what we were yesterday. Gather your rosebuds while you may. You don't have any rosebuds, do you, Mr. Bandy? Take this rose and your tea. Only one of them will give you life. it were the last rose you ever saw, I smelt. You see, Mr. Bandy, this rose doesn't care who you are. If you're Irish, German, Russian, or, or gold. It lives for this moment, the moment it's shared with someone. I think I'll skip tea today. Let's go, gentlemen. Mr. McLeish, stop by the mine office in the morning and we'll talk about your future. Thank you, Mr. Bandy, but I think I'll be moving on. I've got other wealth to mine. Wise decision, Mr. McLeish. Mr. Honus, I recommend you do the same. Little girl, do not burn yourself on that tea. Come on, Hansel. Let's get you a bath. Oh, my right. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is this craziness? Sasha, get the shovel. It's okay, Miss Petrova. Oh, my God. Why you act crazy? You should be in bed. I know, Mr. Trova, but I think my fever broke. I'm doing better. Oh, do not better. Like... Sounds like walrus. The Trova has returned. Order shall be restored. Sasha, make the fire. Inga, make the tea. Myra, clean up the table, mess. Mr. Hondas, you, you take the poopy baby. There. Now, we all have a job. Now, we are happy. Now, we have abundance. Thank you.
Oh, oh, oh.